European Parliament adopts European Union media freedom law. The is set to better protect journalists from political pressure and surveillance. Under an unprecedented media freedom law approved by the European Parliament on Wednesday, the legislation, backed in a vote by 464 European Union lawmakers, with 92 against and 65 abstaining, also enshrines editorial independence and seeks to improve transparency on media ownership. The European Union Commissioner for Values and Transparency, Vera Jourova, hailed the historic vote. Saying on X that independent media are essential to democracies, and it's the duty of democracies to protect them. Reporters Without Borders (OCF), a French media watchdog advocating journalist safety and independence, welcomed the move. This law's adoption marks a major step forward for the right to information within the European Union, said Ars's Brussels office chief Julie Meierchak. The draft text of the European Media Freedom Act was introduced by the European Commission in 2022, in reaction to deteriorating media pluralism and independence in EU countries such as Hungary and Poland, and also as spyware like Pegasus and Predator was being used to target journalists. Jourova said in a Tuesday debate on the law in the European Parliament in Strasbourg ahead of the vote. That its provisions address clear problems facing media in Europe. Those included interference by governments in editorial decisions, pressure on media of public service, media surveillance of journalists, lack of transparency of media ownership and of state advertising, or lack of coordination among media regulators. During negotiations on the new law, France insisted on national security carve-outs. Sparking concerns among journalists and media freedom organizations, exceptions are included in the final law, but not for national security reasons, and only in limited circumstances. For instance, spyware on devices used by journalists can only be deployed if a number of serious violations are identified, and then only after sign-off from a judicial or independent authority. EU countries will also be required to ensure sustainable financing of public media organizations, and there are safeguards for journalistic content published online. The legislation contains provisions for setting up an independent European Union committee, composed of representatives from national regulatory authorities, to examine cases where overconcentration of media ownership might infringe the rules. The panel would issue recommendations, non-binding ones, in regards to media pluralism. Thanks for watching.